In the summer months ahead, uh, if you're selling now, how do you get the best possible price and avoid a long wait? Real estate broker and analyst Al Schneid joins us now to help you develop a strategy for selling your home. Al, thanks for coming in this morning. Well, you're, you're welcome. Nice day, and I got good news, so I'm glad to be here. Well, well give us the good news. Is, is the housing market doing pretty well this year? It is, actually. Uh, we're ahead of my expectations through uh, four months of the year. Sales are up several hundred from 09, which is really kind of a benchmark year to measure against. And uh, the best of all news is we had 4,000 less uh, new listings come on the market in the first four months, and that dropped our inventories pretty significantly. And that, that's a big, critical piece of information that suggests we're, uh, we're on the way. I know you like to study the market uh, very thoroughly, and you did a recent study of all the properties that sold in the first quarter, and you examined two different strategies in selling a house, right? I did, yes. Uh, we often hear from sellers, there, there are two strategies. One, of, one seller wants to price high and leave lots of room for negotiation. The other strategy wants, the other seller wants to price aggressively and, and sell it quickly. And uh, so I analyzed all the closings in the first quarter to determine which one had the best outcome. So, so, I mean, does one work better than the other in a market like this? The data was, was surprisingly clear. The lower price strategy is the big winner by far. They will sell in half the time, 86 days versus 195 days. And really surprising is they'll actually sell for $21,000 more on average than will those that start with a higher price. So how does a seller determine uh, the most aggressive price he can get? <laughs> yeah, that's the art and the science of the process, and let me just give you some thoughts on that. Uh, first thing I would say is that y you need to hire a real estate agent that really understands the market, is comfortable working with numbers, and look at a lot of numbers, because there's lots to analyze. Uh, sellers need to consider both the active listings and the closed listings that are that are in the database, because buyers have so many more to look at today. In fact, they're, they're looking at 50% more homes than they did two or three years ago, so you have a lot of competition and consider those active listings. Uh, third is you want to start the process with the goal of you're going to price aggressively so that you never have to reduce your price to get your showing rate up or to get that first offer. Well, what's, what's, the, uh, what's the forecast for the remainder of the year and moving into 2012? Yeah, I, I'm still on the square where I was in February. I think we got a 4 or 5% growth we're looking at this year, uh, and we're on that path at this point. I would say, uh, for lack of any better data, 012 I think is going to be very similar, uh, 4 or 5%, maybe a little higher than that, but it's a little early to, to be looking at 12 at this point. Al, thank you so much. Appreciate that. You're welcome. As always, enjoy it. Yeah, you've got that uh, website, I know, and we've got a link to that. Uh, 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 gives you more information on our housing analysis. Go to WRL.com and it'll take you right there. Thanks so much.